And Gordon Chang, columnist, author, and lawyer, joins us now. Uh, good morning to you. Thanks for being here. So you say we are at the most dangerous point in history. Share what you mean by that. Yeah, this is more dangerous, I think, than the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962 or the Checkpoint Charlie Crisis of the preceding year. And the reason is we know that the archives show that neither Khrushchev nor Kennedy were willing to use their nuclear weapons. Um, we don't know that about Xi Jinping, who has actually threatened to use his nukes against Australia, Japan, the United States, and others in within the last year. Also, Vladimir Putin has continually threatened to use his most destructive weapons um, in, in connection with Ukraine. So, you know, as Henry Kissinger said in that interview published Friday, we are on the edge of war with Russia and China. And given their doctrines, um, those two countries could very well escalate quickly to the use of nuclear weapons. That's a pretty heavy statement that we're actually on the edge of war with China. Well, that, that's Henry Kissinger's. I, I believe it's true because we have taught the Chinese to ignore our warnings. We've done this over the course of decades. We have emboldened and legitimized the worst elements in the Chinese political system by allowing them to intimidate us. And, and now, you know, we are trying to reestablish deterrence. Reestablishing deterrence is like one of the most dangerous exercises. You had the failure of, of in Afghanistan one year ago today where the Chinese actually said in connection with that, with the fall of Kabul, that uh, they would invade Taiwan um, and that the United States wouldn't come to help. Now, I don't agree with them, but that's their viewpoint and that's what matters. And, and you talked about Vladimir Putin. How is China looking at Russia's war on Ukraine? What are they learning from that? What they learned was that the United States, the 27 nations of the European Union and Great Britain which in 2021 had an economy 25.1 times larger than Russia's, failed to stop the Russian invasion of Ukraine. And really what they're seeing is the disarray in the United States and in your Western capitals. You know, the Chinese know that we're much more powerful than they are, but they believe that because they've got political will and that the United States does not, that they can do what they want. And they are testing us. And they are testing us in ways which are extremely provocative and dangerous. You know, the Chinese know that they shouldn't start a war with us, but you've got a lot of flag uh, uh, officers there who actually are itching to kill Americans. They've been indoctrinated to do it. They want to do it emotionally. And when, you know, countries want to kill others, they usually succeed. And what do you make of the news now about this congressional delegation, these American lawmakers traveling to Taiwan? Do these meetings bolster Taiwan or do they put Taiwan more at risk? I think they bolster Taiwan by showing Beijing that we're not afraid of them. Um, you know, if you give in to the Chinese threats, which we have, you know, presidents, um, not only Biden, but all of his predecessors have been giving in to Chinese threats. We have um, created a exceedingly dangerous situation where there are no safe options. And, you know, I know people say that this is poking the dragon in the eye. And, and yes, it is. But we need to do that to show the dragon that we are willing to poke them. And we have not been willing to do that in the past. If, if a war or some sort of conflict does break out in Taiwan or between the U.S. and China, we can't really underestimate the significance this would have here in the U.S., right, particularly when it comes to manufacturing. Well, yes. And, and uh, if there is war between China and the U.S., Americans should not assume that they'll have electricity. They should not assume that they will have water. Um, and they can assume that our traffic lights will be controlled in Beijing. We have allowed this situation to develop by allowing Chinese equipment in our country, in our telecom networks and others. And the Chinese will use it um, in the first moments of a war. All right, Gordon Chang, thank you so much for your time this morning. Appreciate having you. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.